I'm Katie. And I'm Kay. And you're listening to the Babes of Quinny podcast. You have listened to us talk about the amazing experience we had and the wonderful people we met at Brazen 2023. Now it's time to mark your calendar for Brazen 2024, hosted by Simple Desk. This full day experiential event for women by women is happening on May 31st, 2024 at Cherry Val in Picton. It's a day full of networking, support, delicious food, giveaways, vendor booths, and an inspiring panel of female entrepreneurs sharing their inspiring stories. Tickets go on sale November 1st. For more information, visit simpledesk.ca slash brazen and follow brazen on instagram at brazen events one diamond physiotherapy from the very beginning set out to challenge traditional physiotherapy by reconnecting people with their bodies both physically and mentally the team at diamond physiotherapy is dedicated to treating the whole person they have the resources and tools to treat immediate injuries and often address the root cause they recognize that every client has unique goals and challenges no matter what the challenge may be they will create an individualized treatment plan using the services they offer including physiotherapy vestibular rehabilitation and psychotherapy to learn more and get a treatment plan that works works for you, visit diamondphysiotherapy.ca and follow them on Facebook and Instagram at Diamond Physiotherapy. Summer has flown by. You know what? What? It's the perfect time to get back into things, including going for routine dental hygiene appointments at Family Dental Center. That is such a good idea because going for routine dental hygiene checks at FDC will help remove calculus and tartar buildup, provide early cavity detection, catch small issues before they come major, and screen for oral cancer. You can book your dental hygiene appointment at the Family Dental Center in Belleville, Frankfurt, or Coburg by visiting familydentalcenter.com make sure you follow them on Facebook and Instagram at FDC Family. Events on the Rocks is all about helping you truly live in the moments that matter by removing the stress from events of any size. Ashley, the mastermind behind Events on the Rocks, loves the hospitality industry. She founded the business to offer custom event planning services and day of coordination, ensuring your events are smooth and stress-free. But that's not all. Events on the Rocks has a -a one-of-a-kind mobile full-service bar that can roll up to any event, leaving your guests in awe with an array of cocktails, mocktails, and mouth-watering snacks. You can learn more about Events on the Rocks and meet Ashley at the 2023 Quinty Wedding Show on October 22nd. Purchase advanced tickets at eventsontherocks.com and make sure to follow Events on the Rocks on Facebook and Instagram at events underscore on the rocks. Number three. Oh, we did. We're doing three intro extras. This is the final one. If you've been following along, Katie's still in France. I'm still. I'm in my second week of France. Actually, I'll be coming home tomorrow. Okay, so like when this airs, you're this will home air to- the Thursday, the twelfth, and I come home Friday the thirteenth, which is a little spooky. That is a little bit spooky. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but but it is spooky season. I know it is spooky season. Do we have any spooky season plans? Maybe we should get one. I feel like I want to glitter something. Ooh, a pumpkin. Actually, no, I already decided on my Halloween costume. Can you tell us? Um, I could. But I'll can't. show you. Okay. But I'm not going to say it out loud because okay. I'm going to wear it to the office. <gasps> I love that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's spooky season. It's October 12th. We're in the middle of the month. We're in a time machine. It's, I don't, a ti- it's a time machine. I can't really tell you. I can't predict the future, unfortunately. No, uh, and I, I, I honestly, I don't even know. I got know. nothing. I got nothing because I know that. We're close to being reunited, so that's exciting. I can guarantee you I'm probably, like, I, I'm like I'm very excited that you're away and having, but I'm like, okay, like, I'm ready for yeah, you to I come back. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's <laughs> I feel like I'll be ready usually this, this day. I'm usually, like, a vacation when you're... Two, three days before you're about to leave, you're like, okay, I'm ready. Like, I, it's like, I'm ready to come home. I'm ready to, like, mm-hmm. snuggle my pets. Yeah, my mom picked my dogs up this morning and the time. So in September, on September 27th, she picked my dogs up and I, w- I won't see them until the 15th. Um, so I'll oh. be excited to be coming home, I think. But happy I went on vacation. Oh, and then I get Cooper in November. Yeah. I'm so excited. That's going to be fun. Lincoln's so excited. Cooper. I've been telling him. And he's like, every time we get out of the car, he's like, where's Cooper? <laughs> not here, And buddy. I'm like, no, babe. I'm like, not until November. And he's like, November, we get Cooper. And I was like, yeah, November, we get Cooper, babe. I love how much he loves the cat. Loves your mom's cat, which is so random. He's a, he a good cat. 
Um, this episode. Which episode is it? Oh, yeah. This was like a highly, um, highly suggested, requested. yeah, requested guest. Yes. And, and I'm especially excited about this one. Yeah. It's the Cookie Mama. I ate some of the cookie last Same. night. I put it in the microwave. I didn't have any tin foil, so I couldn't put it in the oven. Um, I did not. You just raw dogged it? Straight up raw dogged it because I was like, it's I, a really good I got home, I had dinner, and I was like... I need a slice of this cookie. I had girl dinner last night where I panicked on what to eat. Yeah. And then I, instead of like figuring it out, I just ate some cookie and then finally like reheated something from the freezer. But it was a girl dinner because I just started with a cookie. Yeah. I had, I reheated like shepherd's pie mm. because that's like my go to. I love shepherd's pie. Well, the, it's like because I do like the cauliflower mashed yeah. potatoes. Delicious. It's so good. I need to make that and like freeze it in portions. That's I think. what I do. Yeah. So then I can just microwave it. Maybe and then... when I come back, I'll be um, like rest enough that I'll start meal prepping again. Well, I think that hopefully you eat a ton of carbs because French bread Ugh. is like just bread and cheese. I'll be so full of bread and cheese and wine. I you don't drink, drink wine. wine. That's unfortunate. I know. But, um, yeah. So, but bread, oh, so, so much good. croissant and like sweet, sweet and pamplemousse, grapefruit. <laughs> there we, oh my God! Look at you're learning. I'm learning. We had Larissa, the Cookie Mama, in. I, I, I feel like she's, she's like a celebrity. So, and I'm I know. Like, I was like sitting here. I'm like, oh my I'm God! Like, the Cookie took, Mama's I'm here. Like, you took your time out of the day, your day to come talk to us. She's such just like a calming presence. Like oh, she's yeah. so sweet. Um, and just doing really cool things and ha- is very supported by the community mm-hmm. and yeah, just a lovely presence. Yeah, we'll we'll let you experience it now. Yes, enjoy. Our next guest has been recommended to us by multiple people. Larissa, <laughs> <laughs> you just told me it too. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say it again? Punzlin. Punzlin. I was looking at it and I was like, I don't even know. <laughs> Larissa Punzlin grew up in Richmond Hill and now calls PEC home. Like many of us, she started a pandemic hobby, but was one of the small number that kept at it and has made it a business. In the fall of 2021, she officially launched Cookie Mama. Her skill at cookies are creative, delicious, and giant. Larissa uses her social media platform to showcase her delicious cookie creations and highlight the importance of work-life balance. Babes of Quinny, please welcome the Cookie Mama herself, Larissa Punzlin. Hi. Hi. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm good. I'm very happy to be here. We're so excited, I'm so excited. to have you. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. What's your favorite potato chip? Uh, ruffle sour cream and onion. I saw that on your yeah. Instagram when I was doing some like background research. I'm like, I, I already know. I don't even have to ask her. I. Uh, it's oddly enough, I like do not have a sweet tooth. What? I only developed one when I became pregnant with my oldest. Oh. Okay. Um, but slowly, like, now that I'm, my youngest is, like, two and a half. Yeah. I've slowly gone back into, like, my old ways of just, like, not caring for sweets as much unless I'm getting my period and, like, yeah. those cravings. Yeah. But, like, chips are my weakness in life. Oh. So sour yeah. cream and onion are your go-to. Yes. And well, what's next? Doritos Cool Ranch. Oh. oh I love yeah. a Cool Ranch Dorito. I love the chips that, like, get on your fingers. <laughs> and you lick well, them Well, you lick it up. That's the, that's the best part is I'm like, it's a snack for later. Yeah. It's so, it's so sick. <laughs> <laughs> like Cheetos. Like, mm, it's a whole other Cheeto on your face. <laughs> Hawkins. Oh, yeah. I've can, never had them. You've Whoa. never had Hawkins Cheezies? No. Oh, shit. They're local. Oh. They're, they're like the OG like, cheesy. Okay. Just like north of the 401. No, they're made on South Church Street. Shut no, the... South Pinnacle. Are you like... It's so funny. Like, you know the Boathouse I'll restaurant? I'll have to try yeah. it. Yeah. Like, right, right around there. Shut up. Yeah. Might be why did my I new think addiction. It, why did I yeah. think it was near, like, the Black Diamond factory? Well, because it's, it's, it's like industrial, so that's like the industrial area, I guess. But no, they're like, like in town. And okay. sometimes it smells fun. <laughs> okay, because I used to live on <laughs> like different, like you know, like processing yes, foods. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, these ones are made with like real cheddar. Okay, and it's like 
it's salty as hell. It's so yeah. salty. Um, and like a layer of cheese will end up on your fingers afterwards, mm-hmm. and it's disgusting, but so, so, so good. good. You can get like them at Costco, like a double pack, oh, okay. and like oh, they're so. But you can get them at Shoppers. See, like, yeah, you I can love, get them anywhere. I love salt, and so like I do put salt on some of my cookies. Love <gasps> and I find that. those like I love the sweet and salty. Combo. I saw you put chips in a cookie. Oh, yes. Yes, I did. That's a power move. I love that. That's like my special Halloween cookie that I do. So it's like potato chips, Rice Krispie squares, uh, peanut M&M's, M&M's, chocolate chips. Yeah, It's like all the stuff that's like left over. Yes. And then just like put it in a cookie. I did. I took like... I think the first year in business, I took all of my kids' Halloween candy because they weren't... Oh, that's genius. And then I just put a bunch of like chocolate bars into a cookie once and I was like this is great this works yeah. that sounds lovely well, yeah. did you ever make a savory cookie like is I that I've been asked to do that I just I don't know because I guess there's probably like it's a it's a cookie recipe so there's sugar in it and then you'd have to change that yes I would have well, to well no change. you can still make it sweet savory like I've done maple like, bacon yes yeah I've you've done, done a bacon, bacon one I've done like an Earl Grey lavender one fun which was really fun I saw that when I was so pretty yes I loved that one. Um, it was just, it was one of those cookies, though, that you either love or you you hate it. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I can see that. I see, like, I've had people ask me, like, are you making that one again? I'm like, I didn't realize, like, how much people actually enjoyed it. Like, I hate it because I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did not mean to spit at you. I'm just saliva you today. <laughs> I'm just not, like, a floral person. Either. Yeah, I think floral is a very unique. Yes. I'm very pa- particular about it. Yeah, lavender is like one of the ones I can tolerate. Rose, I can't do. Oh yes. yeah, I don't yeah. know if I could do rose. I don't think I could do rose. And like rose and pistachio is a big one. Really, um, really? but my daughter is anaphylactic to cashews and pistachio, so I will never do. Get them out of the house. Yeah, none I'll of never that. Do cookies with those. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, yeah. Super fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kids like, no. over cookies. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. So I read that you have a degree in holistic nutrition. <laughs> <Do you? laughs> Tell us about that. Okay, it's so funny because people, when they hear that, they're like, whoa, that was a big change. Yeah, I'm like, you yeah. Being a nutritionist to now making giant cookies and giving everybody diabetes. <laughs> yeah. so At least you recognize what you're doing. <laughs> but like when I, when I was in school, I worked at an eating disorder clinic. Oh, nice. Um, and then when I finished school, I continued working with them, so mm-hmm. I was mostly just with eating disorders. So it was very, very different mm-hmm. type of nutrition work. It was mostly just like exposure to yeah. food, oh, okay. more so. And like, I would always give the advice of like balance over anything and just like mm-hmm. eat the damn cookie. Like oh, I would actually yeah. say that in my practice all the time. I'd just be like, if you're craving a cookie, just eat the damn cookie. Yeah. <laughs> so really, it does make sense what yeah. you're doing now. <laughs> Eat the damn cookie. Eat the damn cookie. Yeah. So, yeah, it was very different. Mm -hmm. And so when I moved out here and I started my own practice out here, everybody just wanted weight loss. Yeah. Which is, like, understandable. Like, when you're coming to a nutritionist, do you want to be able to, like, find someone where they can guide you on, like, eating healthy and stuff? And I was all about that, but also about being balanced Mm -hmm. in life. Yeah. Um, So I was just kind of sick of the people asking me like how do I lose weight and there was like bordering issues with like disordered eating and I couldn't be the one to tell them that why I'm just you're not allowed I'm not allowed yes technically like you're supposed to go to a physician Mm -hmm. in order to get like a real diagnosis like I I would never be the person to be like you have a problem. Right. Yes. Unless they were the ones to come to me to say, like, I feel like I have an issue. Oh, that's interesting. So it was interesting. But I just found, like, no purpose. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. No purpose in doing it anymore. And it was also just, like, very emotionally and mentally draining. Yeah. To be around, like. People who are like, I just want to be skinny. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I also find that draining. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Yeah. That's why I'm just, like, embracing the chonky life. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool with it. Yeah. I'm all I eat for... cookies whenever I want to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I eat a balanced, I eat protein and I get, you know, my fiber and all these other things. But I, I'm I don't I'm loving, care. I've seen such a shift since, like, when I was working in holistic nutrition, like, I don't even know that was like five or six years ago now um towards now and like how there's so much body positivity yeah and just yeah. like 
lots of like women advocating for like all different shapes and sizes. Yeah. And it's so different to what life was just five years oh, ago. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 I, th- I think I think about that too because you know growing up I was the chonky kid yeah. so but I was very like active yes. but I just didn't we've talked about this before so I was considered obese as a child yeah. even though I was still active and I just loved Joe Louis like yeah. what about it and then yeah but you know we were we grew up when Weight Watchers was fun yes. and Jenny Craig and yeah oh yeah slim yeah. down no. I'm gonna yeah. eat the damn cookie. <laughs> eat the damn cookie. Yeah. 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 Good times. <laughs> Love that. So how did you end up in this area? My partner actually is originally he was born here in Belleville. Cool. Um he moved to like London or Oakville when he was maybe about five. But his dad still lived in the county. Oh, okay. And most of his family was still here besides his mom and his brother who lived in the city. Um so we would come and like visit all the time and when we were buying a house back in like 2017 we were just like we want more space we want more land we want to get a dog and Mm -hmm. like it would be very sad for this dog to live in the city where we had no backyard yeah yeah we were also coming from like living right downtown Toronto where we could never leave our house like we could not get out of our parking garage and like get onto the street it took forever yeah and so we were just like i'm sick of this and so Mm -hmm. we when we were moving um we came here for like i think two weekends in a row we looked at over like 40 houses every weekend (laughs) every weekend not the whole like yeah so we looked at like over 80 houses at the time oh my god and it was insane but like Um, 2017 the prices must have been like so much better better but also for the time not great Oh, like right. still very expensive. Yes. Um, and then we were like so dead set on like having a home that was like a character home mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and like a farmhouse. And I fell in love with one that my Pilates instructor <laughs> now lives in, and I'm so jealous. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and my father in law came over, and he was like, "Absolutely not." He was like, "You cannot buy this house." He was Why? like, "It was being held up, like oh. so the, the like the basement was being held up by like I don't even know how many." Like, yeah, it was just not... Just bricks yes. piled underneath Yeah, it was just not good. And he was just like, no. Um, it's not so sad when someone practical comes yeah. in. You're like, it's so great. And they're like, the foundation is falling. I'm like, who cares? It had a beautiful, but it's so pretty. <laughs> it had a beautiful meadow in the back. Oh. And like horse stables. And I was the like, meadow. this is my dream. Yeah. Like, I love this. Um, and then they knew somebody that was like a home builder. And they were like, well, why don't you come and see this house? It's a beautiful home. And I was like, okay, well, I'll go see it just to be nice. But, <laughs> like, I'm but not, not getting happy it. about I'm it. Not, I'm not going to do it. Like, I want a, a farmhouse and, like, yeah. a character yeah. home. And we saw it, and our realtor was with us, and I had to, like, put on a game face. And I was like, hmm, yes, <laughs> this is a nice house, but it's not what we're looking for. And then after she left, I was like, oh, my God, that house was beautiful. <laughs> it was everything I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> it was exactly what I need. And then we moved here, and then that was it. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. That's a good. Yeah. Man, 40 houses a weekend. I That's know. A, was I a- was a kid. My dad loved real estate, like, just going to see houses. Yeah. Like, I don't know how many open houses I was dragged to as like here's a fun activity we can do like I got so good at looking at houses and like this like, does not surprise me right at all yeah. John still to this day he'll be like look at this house I found on MLS and then my mom's so- like I'm not moving yeah that's so funny because in university like when I lived right downtown my boyfriend and I at the time would go to open houses and yeah. pretend to be like this couple in oh, Tristan. Yeah. We we're like, we absolutely cannot even afford no. this. No, but like, it's fun to close. pretend. It's yeah. so fun to pretend. Yeah. I wanted to do that with that one house that Dom, I don't know if you know Dominique McIntyre. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so she had this one house, and I was like, I'm convinced this is Elton John's house. I don't yeah. know shit. I'm like, how do I go for a show I go to this house? Because yeah. it was like concrete walls yeah. and floor. I was like, this is literally my dream home and but it was like one of those things it's like you had to be like like extra approved before you were even allowed in that's so funny i've had to cut myself off from like realtor.ca because Mm -hmm. i'll like fall in love with a house and i'm like this is it i have to buy it i need a down payment right now yeah and no it doesn't i don't have that funding right now so (laughs) i just can't look at it my partner is obsessed with looking at the realtor website too he's just like look at this house he should talk to my dad yeah (laughs) 
that's it. Like you should connect them. Yeah, like yeah. my dad will find help, show us all, and then he'll be like, "Hey, Martha, want to go for a drive in the county?" <laughs> and she's like, "Why?" He's like, "Just gonna like drive." Just, just and then just he's cause. like, "Oh, look at this house!" Like. <laughs> stumble upon it during Uh, open house time. Your dad, is he a realtor? No, he owns this company. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Moved so many times. I love that though. Yeah. So I love that. That's that's so he's a character. He is a character. character. And my mom said now like you will have to wheel her out of the house (laughs) when she's dying. Like that's the only way she's leaving. She's done. (laughs) She hates moving. She's like, I'm fine here. It's not fun to move. No, it sucks. Oh I sucks. I moved like I think in a period of like four years, I think I moved six times. Yeah, because it was like three years, five times, and some of them were panic <clears throat> moves. Oh yeah, mine were all like panic moves because yeah. I leave everything to the last second. Oh my god, I can't. I, can't I tried even. to pack for this last move. I was pregnant and I was packing, or I had just had Lincoln or something, and I was yeah. packing. It was like what a March horrible time to pack. Yes. March twenty twenty, yeah. postpartum. Let's pack and move. Like, let's just do it. It's fine. When we go on trips, I, like, will leave my bag, like, as it is for a very long time before I unpack it, because I hate it. No, I have to unpack right away, or I, I'll never do it. I See, still have I'm, yes, boxes See, yes, if I don't do it right away, I will never do it. Yeah. And then... I still have some downstairs. Oh, I know. I have no idea what's so in it. Bad. I think it's just art supplies. But I couldn't tell you. Yeah. The worst. Mm. Oh, that's so fun. Yes. Moving, man. That's trauma. Being, being an adult is just so fun. Oh, yeah. When kids are like, I can't wait to grow up. I'm like, no, you, you think you're going to have money? You have no idea. <laughs> yeah. I am doing, I don't know if she listens to this, Rachel, I sail with her. She's like 25, just finished her master's, and she's like, I'm getting out of Belleville. I hate it here. I'm going to Ottawa. I'm like, you live with your parents. You, you just have take made. that in. Dude, yes. You don't want to leave. You want to stay there and you yeah. want to be comfortable or you're going to cry every day. <laughs> so true. Nobody will make you dinner. No. I love coming home and feeling so taken care of. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, What's here's that? my laundry. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. I take care of everybody else in my house. Same. Oh my God. Like do you do, do that? Everything. Yes. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you just ask a therapist. I feed, yeah, I feed everybody. I make sure everyone's yeah. clothed. Yeah. Make that's, sure everything's that's clean. That's why I like going home because my mom yeah. takes good care of me when I come home. Like, it's like I, I go home and I'm like, I don't want to make dinner. I just want to lay on your couch. Yeah. I go home and it's like my kids become her kids. Yeah. I'm like, who are they? They're not mine. I don't know them. I don't know, I don't know them. them. They're yours now. No, here you <laughs> go. Do you love them? Here you go. <laughs> oh, I got to take a nap on your couch while yeah. they all yell and scream yeah. and I'm just going to lay here. I'm like, goodbye. I'm going up to bed. Parents, you guys are saints. I don't I know, know how you do it. They but your saints. kids are so stinking cute. Um, they are pretty cute. Yeah. I won't lie. And like, I love a kid in glasses. I don't I know do why. Too. It's so because cute. It's precious. Yes. Did she ever have the one that had the strap on the back? No. Oh. So we tried to do it, but it just like didn't, oh, didn't. didn't work. But she was, <laughs> yeah, she's so, they're both so Honestly, adorable. Katie I'm had so your lucky. Instagram up this morning on her computer. She's like, I was like, those children. They're so <laughs> stinking <laughs> cute. How old are they? So four and two. Amazing. And they're both, like, their birthdays are exactly a week apart. <laughs> Stop it. So, yeah. Wait, what sign are they then? They're both Aries. Oh. Ooh, that's yes. fun. Yeah. That would be seems, so fun. Yeah. And then both my partner and I are Tauruses. Oh, oh <laughs> Interesting mix happening. We're both Virgos. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So we're <laughs> very type A, I'd say, in oh, different yeah. ways. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. For yeah. sure. Okay, so how did Cookie Mama start, and how's it going? Okay, so how did it start? Essentially, during the pandemic, I like, I was always a baker. Um, Mm -hmm. My mom was a baker growing up. She would make, like, she had her own side hustle. She, like, worked in insurance. But, like, at nights or on weekends, she would bake these, like, beautiful cakes. Like, wedding cakes, birthday cakes, you name it. And she still, to this day, like, experiments with, like, her baked goods. Mm Mm-hmm. It's really fun. She's like my it's like assistant in your blood. Now. Yeah, she's my assistant now. <laughs> she Stop helps it. me. That's so cute. But like growing up, I would help her. Like mm-hmm. I would help her mm-hmm. do like all of her like little things that I could do for her. But um, so I started baking at a really young age, um, and then during the pandemic, I just my partner has a really big sweet tooth. So like. Yeah chocolate, candy, mm-hmm. cookies, cake, you name it, he will devour it. And annoyingly, he's still very slim. <laughs> Isn't that the best? That's like yeah. my partner. She can eat, like she'll eat like a tub of ice cream and I'm just like, how are you? Yeah. How are you Where is that? it going? Bye. And I'm just like, guess I'll just have some 
lettuce. Carrots. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I do that and it goes like straight to my ass. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it can be so loaded for days. Yeah. So I started making, um, the first one I ever made was like a mini egg cookie skillet for his birthday. That's I adorable. saw it. You posted yes. it. Yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> I know. So then, I don't know, it just became a thing and ever, like all of my friends were like, you need to make this into a business. My partner was like, you need to do something with this. Like, this is gold. Mm-hmm. My sister was like, you need to do something with this too. Like, this is insane that you're not selling your products. And I was like, oh. I had just had... My youngest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just like, I don't know, like maybe. And then in the middle of the nights when I would be feeding her, I'd like be thinking about it. I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. And so I'd like, she, I'd be breastfeeding at like three in the morning and I'd be on my phone and be like, okay, like, what kind of cookie combinations should I do? And so I have like a massive list on my phone of all different kinds of cookies that I want to oh make. God. And then. Does this list still exist? It does still exist. Oh my God. <laughs> You need to and post just, that somewhere. I just keep adding to it. Every time oh, I like so see like a fun cookie combination, yeah. I just like add to it. And I'm just like, I don't know how many more new cookies I can come up with. You have so Do you know how many so you have, many. like have come up with total <gasps> that have been made? I don't even know. Maybe over like 30 at this wow. point. That's crazy. Yeah. I feel like you just need to have like a whole bunch of stoners in a room. Oh, just test, yeah, taste yeah, testing. Just, no, just thinking yeah. of ideas. Oh, like, yeah. Okay, we can think about flavor combinations. Yeah, there's so many yeah. different flavors that like exist, and I'm just like, I want to do them all. Yeah, but I also don't know if I like can, because mm-hmm. <laughs> then you well, would yeah. never see the same cookie in the rotation again, because I'd constantly be trying new. Do ones. you rotate them through? Is that how it works? Yeah, you never have like. So, like, I used to do, like, a monthly cookie menu where every month it was, like, five or six cookies, and Mm -hmm. that's all you could order for the month. And then I think in the summer I started doing weekly rotations. Oh, wow. Uh, The OG and the Reese's Cookie, which are, like, my top two bestsellers, are always on there. Mm -hmm. And then I just rotate the three different ones, and it really just depends on my mood. Yeah. Or, like, what holiday or, like, the season so, like, next week with Thanksgiving is the pumpkin spice cookie. Mm. Um, the apple oatmeal one I'm keeping on there. Nice. And then I'm deciding if I want to try out a chai, <gasps> a chai oh, spice cookie. Hard yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hard yes. I'm a big chai lover. I love chai. That's what's in here right now. Yes. Yeah, it's so chai good. and espresso. Oh, so good. That's what you should do. Chai espresso. Yeah, yes. I was going to say, a little Ooh, coffee a in there. One. Yes. Oh. I know. It's just... There's so many ideas in my head. I'm constantly thinking of cookies. It's so fun, though, because you just get to be keep being creative with them. Yeah. Like, there's... I've had moments where, like, I've had serious, like, creative blocks where mm-hmm. I'm just, like, I just don't feel inspired at all. So, usually, I'm pretty good at, like, being, like, hey, I need to take a break. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then, once I finally do, I'm, like, okay, I'm ready to get back into this. And, like, here we go. Like, yeah. I'm yeah. going to dish out a bunch of new cookies and oh, just try so them. Cool. Brazen is defined as bold and without shame. Jenny, the visionary behind Simple Desk, created the Brazen event to empower women in business to be their authentic and unapologetic selves. After the rapid sellout of 2023, get ready for a bigger and bolder Brazen 2024. This full day experiential event created by women for women showcases, inspires, and connects female entrepreneurs and working professionals from around the Bay of Quinney. The day is packed with networking, vendor booths, exciting giveaways, delivery, delicious food, and a speaker panel of incredible female entrepreneurs sharing their inspiring stories. Don't miss out on Brazen 2024. Mark your calendars for May 31st and tickets go on sale November 1st, 2023. For all the details, visit simpledesk.ca slash brazen and be sure to follow Brazen on Instagram at Brazen Events one Life can be messy and dealing with chronic pain, pelvic discomfort, muscle weakness, or mental illness can take a toll. Sometimes it takes a team effort to not just survive, but thrive. At Diamond Physiotherapy, their approach is all about education. They're constantly expanding their knowledge and skills to ensure their clients receive solutions that provide them with more than just temporary relief. Recognizing the significance of treating the whole person for overall wellness, Diamond Physiotherapy offers a wide range of services. These include physiotherapy, pelvic health physiotherapy, vestibular rehabilitation, pediatric physiotherapy, psychotherapy, and pre- and postnatal treatment. They're not just about generic treatments. They're about creating an individualized treatment plan that works for you. With their knowledge, skills, and resources, they'll be by your side every step of the way, 
helping you become your best self. Take the first step in your physical and mental wellness and reach out to Diamond Physiotherapy at 55 South Pinnacle Street in Belleville and at diamondphysio.ca. Pop quiz, how often should the average person go for dental hygiene appointments? Uh, Every six to nine months, because committing to regular dental hygiene visits can have long-term benefits for your teeth, gum health, and overall well-being. During your routine hygiene checkups, hygienists and dentists are checking for early signs of cavities, gum disease, and oral cancer. Exactly. The Family Dental Center has truly perfected the art of hassle-free dental visits. With online booking options, three convenient locations to choose from, and thoughtful touches like gravity blankets tailored to alleviate dental anxiety, there's no excuse to put off booking an appointment with the Family Dental Center. And don't forget, it's also important to introduce your kids to routine dental checkups early on to set them up for dental success and promote their overall health. This can also help reduce future dental anxiety. For any questions about your dental health or getting your kids comfortable going to the dentist, contact FamilyDentalCenter.com. Make sure you follow them on Facebook and Instagram at FDC Family. If you're planning a special event, whether it's a wedding, birthday, bachelorette, or work event, Events on the Rocks has got you covered. They offer a range of services, including bar, planning, and same-day coordination. Their bar services are unlike any other. You get top-notch service, a stunning bar setup, and a variety of drink options to suit your theme. And let's not forget the food. Events on the Rocks has charcuterie boards and light snack options to ensure your guests are well-fed and happy throughout your event. You have options. Choose from one of the five event bar services or get in touch to create a custom package to make your event truly unforgettable. Take your event to the next level with Event on the Rocks event planning services. Their dedicated team will handle all the details, including coordinating vendors, decor, menus, invitations, day of coordination, and so much more. To learn more, go to eventsontherocks.com and follow along on Facebook and Instagram at events underscore on the rocks. How many skillets do you own? So I, <laughs> I know. I've always thought that. I'm like, these cookies are huge. How? How is she putting these? So up? originally I started them, yes, in the skillet. So I have maybe about four, um, but got too heavy yeah. and too hard to clean and maintain. So as I started to grow, I had to like do them in cake pans. Oh. So much easier. Yeah. Still a bit of that, a yeah. pain, but like much easier to clean. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. skills are a pain in the ass. They're such a pain. I've been so curious like, since amazing. the first time I saw them about yeah. how you're getting this quantity out yeah. because I'm like, what, she has like a hundred skillets? I know. <laughs> it, it makes no sense. Like, I like, couldn't. I made, so I did Apple Fest this past weekend and I did 250 of like the smaller yeah. size. And I say that in air quotes because everyone's like, those are not small. <laughs> like, They're still massive. <laughs> it's a... Uh, and what's the shelf life of them? So in like, so I put them in a heat sealed like um, cellophane or like plastic bag mm-hmm. um, and they can typically last. I say for two weeks, they have lasted for three. Wow. Um, That's crazy. But I just, for like quality purposes, mm-hmm. I prefer to keep it to the two. Um, but who could last that long? Let's yeah. Be serious. yeah. Well, I'm just thinking because you, you put them in stores, stores. So I was just wondering how. Yeah. So how often you have that to makes turn perfect them over. Sense. In my so brain, I'm just weeks. like, oh no, I bought it. <laughs> I'm eat gonna it eat it now. Yeah. <laughs> and I always recommend to people. So I like have this video pinned to my profile, where the it shows foil. you how to heat them up in the oven, mm-hmm. and they're like, do we have the best? In here? No. We need a toaster. The to microwave works too. Oh, okay. The microwave works too. But don't put the tin foil in the microwave. Yes. Oh, yeah. Without the tin foil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And, like, I'm always telling people, okay, if you can wait, like, at markets, I'm like, if you can wait till you get home, the best way to enjoy my cookies is this way. And they're like, oh, my God, but now I don't know if I can wait. Yeah. (laughs) I'm going to eat it now. I am fully, like, right after this is done, like, going downstairs and microwaving. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We'll film it. Content. Yeah. Everything. Did you start at markets with them or how did you start selling them? I started uh, on Instagram. Oh. I just posted the menu, like online because I guess it was during the pandy so yeah um but I think by the time I was doing it it was probably 2021 so it was like close to the end of the pandemic um I took an order off of Instagram like for right before Halloween 2021 Mm -hmm. and then I just started from there and then the first market I ever did was with Side Hustle Mm -hmm. who I love dearly oh yes Um, I did the Santa Claus parade where they closed down Front Street. 
it was the worst market. <laughs> like, in terms of weather. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I it, hate a like, winter market. Rained. It was raining. It was so windy. I, like, didn't have a tent. So I was borrowing oh, my father-in-law's no. tent. Amazing. But it was like, a very sketchy tent. And so, like, I couldn't. Yeah. I needed help to, like, get it down. And, like, I remember Heather and Kylie being like, you need to shut down. And they were like, the weather, like, you just have to shut down. I was like, I know, but I'm waiting for my father-in-law <laughs> to help me. I don't, He's I on can't. his way. <laughs> like, I'm just standing there in yeah. the pouring rain and the wind, just holding up this tent, mm-hmm. like, so that it won't blow away. And, like, market culture is crazy. And, like, yes. windy days, you'll just see even people with tent weights, like, there's tents in the air. You're just, like, yeah. and then you're just panicked trying to get tents down. Like, yeah. everyone's tent down. It's great. I thought like that would be a thing to stop me, but apparently no. I just kept going after that. <laughs> that wasn't traumatic enough. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep trying. Yeah. This. And then I did another one in like the dead of winter, like February outside. outside. And I remember coming home and being like, I am never doing an outdoor market in the winter ever again. Where was it? It was at uh, Fawnover Market. Oh. And I was like, that was torture. Like, I was like, I can't feel my toes. <laughs> I can't yeah. feel my cheeks. See, I, I like I get like the I get a winter market. Yeah. But I want to be indoors. Yes. Yeah. I've done a I did a couple. I used to do the farmers market in yeah. Peterborough. So I've done a couple outdoor okay. winter markets. And they're like oh. always you're just Yeah. Even end of fall markets, you're like, okay. I know. Let's I wrap know. this up. Even in the summer, like I feel like so like because with my products, obviously they melt. Yeah, I'm always having to be like, oh, I really hope it's a non sunny day. Yeah, <laughs> the struggles of doing yeah. markets. Yeah, and people come and they're like, this is so lovely. It's so beautiful. Everyone's calm, and all the vendors are like, <laughs> that's me. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, oh my god, everything is so pretty. <laughs> yeah. like, it smells like fresh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. And you guys would be sitting there like, fuck you. Yeah. I love most of them, but there would always be like a couple days where I'd be like, oh my God. I know. It's so hot. Well, like Apple Fest was insane. Yeah. I had never done a market that busy ever. And was I, this your first time at Apple Fest yes. this year? Oh, yeah. Alexis. Fest was fun. Designs by Alexis Rose. She said last year she sold out within an hour. Yeah. So she had to like double or something. Yes. Like yeah. it was crazy. People warned me. They were like, make quadruple the amount of cookies you normally make or like someone was like make a thousand cookies like there's absolutely no way I'm not make doing a thousand that cookies I was like if I sell out I sell out mm-hmm. but I normally that market starts at 10 so some a friend who has done that market before warned me she was like just letting you know people start shopping by like 9 a.m oh. so be ready and, like, I kid you not, I literally just unloaded my car, and I had somebody waiting there for me, and he's like, I was like, I, I'm going to need a minute. <laughs> like, I just got here. <laughs> like, yeah, walk away. <laughs> and they're like, okay, we'll come back when you're ready. I'm like, yes, please Thank do. You. Thank you. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I really like, eager beavers. beavers. Yeah. yeah. The eager beavers. I love them. But yeah. also, I'm just like, can you just like, give, me, give, me give me a, a second? Because I'm, not ready. I'm always late too for yeah. things. So I'm like, I'm doing my best. <laughs> I, know. I know you're on time. I don't have that mentality. No. <laughs> and like, I learned my lesson. I need to have somebody with me at those markets. But I literally did not have a break until 3 30. <gasps> Holy cow. I had to like, that's a day. Yeah. I feel like doing markets, you make lots of friends. And so, luckily, I had two people beside mm-hmm. me who I knew. But I was like, if I have to pee, I was like, "Oh yeah, you're like, you need to watch man my, my stall, booth. yeah." And I was running. I was like, "I'm coming! <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just going pee. Yeah. Like, wait for me." <laughs> On slow yeah. days, I was notorious. I'd just like walk away from my tent, yeah. and, but people knew I did it, so they'd be like, "She'll be back in a <laughs> She'll second. Be back. I'd be like, "I'm coming. <laughs> Sorry." <laughs> it's very dangerous for me if it's like. A market where I'm not busy because I will shop. Oh yeah, like you just spend stop. more than you make. You're yes. like, this is fine. Yeah, but girl math, I'm like, I'm making money. Yes. This money I'm spending is free money. It's so true. So it's fine. Well, yeah. yeah, it evens out. Yeah. yeah, it all evens out. Exactly. It's like trying. I saw this one thing where a girl was trying to justify going to see Taylor Swift in like <laughs> Europe. Yeah, she was like, okay, so Taylor Swift tickets here are eight hundred dollars each. God. So it's sixteen hundred dollars. She was like, and hotel, that's twenty four hundred dollars and like for like three days yeah. she's like i fly to scotland cost of the flight is seven hundred dollars the ticket 
two hundred dollars. She's like, technically, I'm saving money. I didn't realize like girl math was a thing. I didn't realize that either until the, all the Instagram yeah. memes. I'm like, you're right. I do think of that I, mentality. Yeah. Oh, all the time. I did it the other day because we were gonna we were looking at moving and yeah. it was gonna be more rent and then we didn't move and I was like, so we're saving on rent, so we have extra money right now. And then my best friend was like, no, that's girl math. And <laughs> she's like, I get it, but it's girl math. Like you don't. I was like, oh, fair, yeah. Yeah. But technically, technically, if I, yeah, yeah, technically, it's like today I was like, okay, so my star is on Starbucks right now. It's like if you order five times (laughs) this week, you'll get an extra 35 stars. I was like, so if I order five times, I get an extra 35 stars. That'll push me over (laughs) the 700, like the 400 star mark. So then I can get two free drinks Uh, by the weekend. It's such a trap. It is such a trap. But I fall for it too. I'm just like, no. I was like, I need to order some Starbucks so that I get stars so that I eventually get a drink. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. If nice. I do it by the weekend, then I can take my daughter and we can both get free drinks. <laughs> yes. Win. Yeah. Big brain. Yeah. From when you started, have you had to change? How have you changed the way you do things? Because I know when businesses start, you're like learning and then bam, you're like an expert oh by the end. I don't even know. I feel like I'm still learning. Well, yeah. I yeah. feel like I'm still like moving through the business like mm-hmm. I am not like I'm the creative side so yeah. like my mind doesn't work in like the business model way whereas my partner is more like Larissa you need to have a business plan like why <laughs> do I I'm like do I I feel like it's working out the way I'm doing it he's like but you need to work efficiently and why I like, am I not <laughs> I know. the cookies are being sold I am making money we're good <laughs> it's so true but like so I feel like I don't even know. Like, I don't even know how to answer that question because I'm just like, do I really? I don't even know yeah. what I'm doing most of the time. But like, you're faking it till you make. Like, yeah, and I would have never yeah. known that. Yeah, from meeting you and just seeing your Instagram, <laughs> I would have never known. Yes. like not a cha- like. Yeah, no, because that's how we pretty much do everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's just I like, like blind faith. Yes. <laughs> just jump in, see yes. what happens. Everyone, I. F- see all these like social media people and they're like you have to have like a social media calendar I'm like I just really post on like how I feel yeah (laughs) do my best yeah I'm like okay you can have a calendar but you know what's gonna I would never follow it you know what's gonna get you trust and building a community is not the calendar yeah I can post a random quote from whatever I want but that's not gonna like build my community and make people believe who I am yep that's very true that's my two cents yeah your social media is great, though. Thank you. I love I like, it. Like, I think that's what I like about yours is like you're just th- like this is it, and it's like mm-hmm. it's yeah. honest, and yeah. it's just. I try and be like very open and honest. I still am working on like getting my face on there and like my voice, and I'm just like I have to build through that confidence. Yeah. It's just like a big thing where I'm just like okay, I like hate filming myself. Same. I hate talking to the camera like I just Same. like do it. I'm like, oh, "Welcome God. to my vlog. You have <laughs> yes. to listen to me now." Yes. <laughs> Please learn about these things. Yeah, I'm like, I know. Yeah. So I, I post about my kids a lot and like They're so cute. They Tell us so cute. more about them if you want to. Oh my God, to. yes, I will <laughs> tell you about them. So the the oldest one, Sweet Tooth, yes, the youngest one hates chocolate what she does what not does have a like? sweet tooth she's more of a savory person oh, she's like yo she's like me she likes the chips and like the breads and the crackers not that my oldest one doesn't she likes it all yeah but my youngest one like so funny will she I, eat the cookies she will have like a little bit but she has like serious self-control where she's like nah I'm oh, yeah. crazy I know I feel yes. like my brother was like that he's she, like I'm good she even sometimes says like if it's something sweet she'll be like yuck and she got very mad at me last week because I made these like zucchini banana bread muffins and I put Cute. dark chocolate in them you and, tricked her you or like and it. I made pancakes yeah. in the morning with dark chocolate in them and she goes I don't like chocolate <laughs> <laughs> What? She's so mad. <laughs> Could you imagine that and being like the too, worst right? part of your so day? So she's so like, <laughs> yeah. she's like, this is the worst thing of my yeah. life. And like, so she'll like go in and like pick out all of the chocolate chips out of the muffin That's or the hilarious. pancakes. 
and I like the granola bars too. Like we buy those made good chocolate yeah. chip granola bars, and she picks up the. Does chocolate. she give them to her sister at least? She just like leaves them. <laughs> these little piles of chocolate all over the what house. A weird thing for I a know. kid. I love that. It's so funny. It. It's funny because my son has the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> She's like only eating the chocolate. Yeah. I made banana chocolate chip muffins. Yeah. He only ate the chocolate <laughs> chips, like peeled it all apart and picked out the chocolate chips. I'm like, babe, your yeah. kids need to be friends. Yes. They'd be the perfect combo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they really would be. <laughs> Children. I know. They're so They're funny. They're so fun. They are fun, though. Oh, my God. They're yeah. like, I feel like the one of the reasons why I do what I do is mostly for them. And it's actually like so heartwarming. So my oldest started kindergarten. Oh, and she co- comes home one day and she's just like, I was telling everybody at school that my mama is the cookie mama. Oh, Stop it. That's and so cute. Sh- I was like, that makes me feel so proud. Yeah. Like, that she's so proud of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like, she was like, my teacher wants a cookie. She was like, can you please give Miss so-and-so a, a cookie? cookie? <laughs> and I was like, okay, I will. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Oh, oh my God. she like pays attention. She does. I love that. She's like your number one fan. She is my number one fan. It's really sweet. They come mm. to like uh, most of my markets. Yeah. yeah, they're market kids. Yeah, they are. They're different kids. breeds. They're so funny. Yes, and like they're just so proud sometimes to be like, "That's my mama." Oh, I know. She said to me the other day too in the car. She was like, "I was thinking about you today at school," and I was like, "Really?" I was like, "That's so nice." I was like, "I think about you all the time too because I miss you a lot when you're at school." And Aww. she goes, "My beautiful cookie mama." <laughs> I was like, "Why are you so cute?" How did you come up with the name? Was it your children like that helped you come up with Cookie Mama? I don't even remember actually how I came up with I think that. It's so cute. Yeah, it's such I a good name. I think it was name. just very fitting. Yeah. I, I would like, what I would do is after the kids would go to sleep. So like by the time I started the business, my, my youngest was maybe about like four or five months when I started to like really think about mm-hmm. the brand and all of that. And I would go, I would put them to bed and then I would go up to like one of our spare rooms, which now has become like my office and I would just sit like sit on my computer and like come up with like different logos and like ideas and so like the original logo that I had was so boring it was just like a black and white like cookie that was kind of bit into with like just black sprinkles Mm -hmm. and it was just not fun yeah and then so I just came up with like all these different colors and it just became this thing yeah so cute And and so fun the Cookie Mama, I don't even remember, like, if I even had a different name to start off with or if it just, like, was, like, bam. Like, that's it. The Cookie Mama. Yeah. We've, like, joked around a little bit about um, creating, like, an offshoot brand called The Cookie Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was like, just going to say. I was like, I feel like Do that all just, the savory cookies. Yeah. yeah the cookie cookie daddy. daddy. I was like, I feel like that just, just sounds a little bit strange. I think, I, I think it's, like, into, so fun. Yeah, yeah, you have to lean into lean it. Lean into it and make it, like... I'm just thinking Evan Furmage. I know immediately. So Evan Furmage, like the real estate agent, posts like the fu- like we. I, he's such a daddy, and it, we, he came to Bocce, and I was like, "You're such a zaddy." It's just like posting these daddy thirst traps. Like I don't even think he means to be yeah. doing it. No, he's just hot. Like it's just like, <laughs> stop, Evan. <laughs> His wife knows I think he's hot. Like, love it's very... his wife. She's hot, too. <laughs> yeah, his wife is super hot, too. So it's just like, it's one of those things. He'll just, like, walk. He's like, yeah, I'm building a... F- a, porch. a porch. A deck. porch. Yeah. deck on this in this cottage in Tweed. And I'm like, you're just doing this, and you're hot. Yeah. <laughs> like, that could be, like, the cookie daddy. He just yeah, like, hot. just, they're the, yeah. they're That's hot the brand. cookies. Yes. They're, they're, like, they're spicy. They're well, feeling Well, like, we've themselves. thought of, like, um, marketing it towards, like, cannabis stores. Oh. Not, a, not because you have to have certain licensing to, like, yeah. bake like, with Even just wheat. to have as a snack. Yeah. Just to have as a snack. And I was like, I don't know if the cookie mama seems on brand to, like, be in a weed shop. And we were like, well, what about... Like cookie the offshoot daddy. of the Cookie Daddy, I'm like that's creepy, but also a great idea. But also, funny. I love it. Yeah. I love that it's a little creepy. Yeah, <laughs> like they just like, lean into that hard, yeah. and they're not like perfect looking cookies. They're like weird shapes. <laughs> yes. Ooh, I think we have something here. <laughs> I'm excited if you do that. I would be aggressively in because yeah. I love nothing more than an edible. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and then a cookie, and then a cookie. Like, what else do you need? Oh, okay. that makes so much sense. 
GB yes. coming soon. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I dip. hope so. Yeah. Oh, a dip. A dip. The daddy cookies coming. <laughs> I don't like that part, but but so no. fun, so fun. Um, no, no, Katie. I just sent. A, I said like, it. I, said I just it. sent a meme to my girlfriends about this, but like how like lyrics from the songs back in the day. So bad. Yes, and like I sent them the one. I think it was like, like a dreams. Jessica Simpson. Or she's like, what did she say? I God. love it. Uh, it was the one of like I'm down on my knees. Like give me. Every drop or something. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> How like it hits so differently. When it hits dirty. differently. Yeah, when you're younger, you're just singing. You're like, what a what a bop! Yeah. And then now you're like, oh, and you're like, oh my god! I like sang Liquid that with dreams from O Town. Yes. What? Oh I don't know that one. I dream singing. about a girl who's a mix of Destiny's Child, just a little bit of Madonna's Wild um, Style. Yeah, but B Four Four has a song like a boy yes, band. That's if right. you get down on me, I'll get down <laughs> on you. I'm and like, do you remember not singing this in the back of the car with your parents and then yeah, probably just being like you. mortified? Oh, I My was. mom's like, do you know what a liquid dream is? <laughs> <laughs> was like, I'll Google it. Like, <laughs> thanks, um, mom. Yeah, throwing a body like Jennifer's, you got the star of my liquid <laughs> dream. <laughs> So it's basically taking a piece of all these women and making it the star of the Is li- a liquid dream like a wet dream? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So funny. Yeah, and then like the whole song is just like Angelina Jolie's like Sal- Selma Hayek, Tyra Banks. <gasps> oh my She's god. She's a dominatrix <laughs> supermodel beauty queen. <laughs> like I love. But, but it, it was like a bop. so hits you differently yeah. when you're older and oh, you're yeah, just no. like, oh my god, I can't believe I would sing that out loud. <laughs> Horrifying! Yeah. I'm so so like I, my I'm mom was so like, sorry. no, you're not doing that. She's like, do you know what that means? I'm like, no. <laughs> and or maybe yeah, my like parents, eight. maybe my parents were so innocent and they didn't know. Yeah, what they're like, either. this is so nice. <laughs> you're such a good singer. Like they're just supporting. See, my you mom it. worked maternity. She oh, knew what yeah. was up. She, in Timmins. Yeah. Yeah. So like she knew. She, she knew. knew she was, was like, mm, no, my daughter's not going to be part of this. <laughs> What a, what a time. Oh, God. Um, on your Instagram, you share a lot about like having a business and raising your daughters. How do you find balance in that? That's a good question. I feel like there are times, like especially right now, I'm coming up to Christmas, mm-hmm. um, where the cookies take over our whole entire lives. Yeah. And like I've had to really, like last summer was a lot. Mm-hmm. I did so many markets. Um, and then I was also expanding into retail shops and I really had to, I realized like after the summer, like I just was not around Yeah, and it was kind of sad Mm because my kids are so young. Um, and then this summer I was like, you know what? Adelaide is starting JK. I want to be around. Mm -hmm. So I'm just cutting back on like how much I'm doing. Um, but I find it's very hard to realize when you're in it, like mm-hmm. how much, how much I'm baking and like doing social media and like always on my phone all the yeah. time, takes away from me spending time with them. Mm-hmm. And like I think it, I only start to realize when somebody like points it out to me. <laughs> they were just like, like my partner will sometimes be like, "You're always on your phone," like, and then I'm in like self denial mode. I'm like, "No, I'm not." Yeah. I'm like, I'm working now. Yeah. And I'm like, but am I really working? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Up in the air. Yeah. I don't know. And so I feel like, I don't know, it just became like a a thing where I can just kind of realize myself when I'm getting mm-hmm. too busy where I have to mm-hmm. be like, hey, I'm going to cut back a little bit. Like this, like last week with Apple Fest was just like way too much. I was baking like for 12 hours straight. And just, like, not having breaks Mm -hmm. and just, you know, I would, like, stop when the kids got home. We would have dinner, do bath time, do stuff, bedtime. And then after they went to bed, I would be back baking. Oh, my goodness. And so I just... That's wild. Yes, it's wild. I, like, gave myself arthritis and carpal tunnel. (laughs) Like, Like, actually? I think so. Somebody, like, one of my friends made a comment and she looked at my wrist and she was like, it's like you have, like, an extra muscle. (laughs) And it was like, I know, it's so bad. <laughs> it's I think too, like you're a solopreneur, like you're doing it all. Yeah. And I think when you're in it as a solopreneur, you don't there's no other option. You just have to do it and you don't realize how in it you yeah. are until you do take a break and you're like, Oh Yes. Yeah. So like after Apple Fest, like I just was like, you know what? I'm taking 
the Sunday off. I'm like, I'm going to the spa. Nice. And then I was like, and then yesterday I also took yesterday off just to like a, for another day to just rest. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's hard. I feel like when you own your own business, there's no boundaries. No. There's nobody telling mm-hmm. you like because it's in hey, your house yes. too, right? They're like, oh, okay, it's five o'clock, time for you to go home. It's mm-hmm. like, no, it's in my house, it's in my face all the time. Yeah. I just like sometimes don't know when. I remember to stop. when we had the farm. I used to because I did a lot of the admin. My email would just overwhelm me. I'd be like getting emails, and I'm like, I just need to stop. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I yeah. find, like, the social media messages, too, sometimes oh, yeah. are very overwhelming. That, like, mm-hmm. um, I did have a thing on before where it would be, like, I would I will respond to you in 24 hours. But then it would, like, automatically reply to people. And so I wouldn't get a notification. Oh, no. But, like, it was there and I would miss messages all the time. I'm like, okay, well, I have to turn this off. But, yeah. like, I was like, you know what? Like, people should know that like after like nine o'clock like I'm not I'm probably not going to answer you until the next day yeah and sometimes it takes me like a day or two to even respond to people's inquiries yeah Yeah. it's a it's a lot it's It's a a lot lot running a business yeah especially by like when you're the soul you're doing everything yes yeah yeah that's insane (laughs) every time we have a solopreneur on I'm like you're killing it Yeah. yeah like I don't know how I no, I'm just my brain just cannot wrap itself around like being able to set the boundaries, but then also like being like, oh hey, like I'm not gonna get to you right away, but also like maybe also not tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I think I've just learned to know that it's okay. Yeah, like, it's okay to not answer somebody right away. Mm-hmm. It's okay to to say no to an order, mm-hmm. or yeah. it's okay to just be like, you know what, like I'm not doing cookies this week. Yeah, yeah. I think too, like sharing it with your audience and your clients yeah. is the best way to like just be open about it yeah and if they don't understand then they're kind of the dicks yeah yeah <laughs> to be honest <laughs> they're not like your ideal customer yes, yes. it's yeah. like you know what I mean if you can't respect the fact that I need time off mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. away from social media yeah like then cool oh yeah social media can be like exhausting it's yes. exhausting it is exhausting constantly yeah. engaging and I'm like very bad at engaging so I just can't <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I const- there's always notifications on my phone. Yeah. Because we from, manage yeah. five or six. Oh my god. Yeah. We do cool hits in Quinty, babes. Babe. Starboard. Starboard. Is that it? I have I like, like seven other pages yeah, too of like just things wow. that we That's haven't actually launched that are just, just sitting. sitting waiting. Yeah. That's so a it's, lot. It's exhausting. Yeah. I turn off Instagram notifications. That's smart. I don't have them come on my phone. Mm-hmm. And so only if I open the app will I see like a message pop up. Um, but I just, it. I feel like it It just, when I hear the the special ding for Instagram, it just makes me anxious. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, I got to check right away. Yeah. <laughs> if you need me, you have my cell phone number. Yeah. Or you can send me an email and then wait like mm-hmm. a normal yes. in my queue. Yeah, I'll get there. I'll yeah. get there. Yeah, I'm the worst at resp- responding oh, to emails. <laughs> the thing is, I'll respond in my head, and then yeah. I'm like, "Did I actually respond?" And then I'm like, "Shit, it's been two days." Yeah, yeah. That's well, like right. especially if I read it, I like, yeah, will be like, "Oh, okay, well, I forget about it after like." Two yeah, I'm days. like, I read I'm it. Like, oh wait, I never responded to that person. I have to mark things as unread so I know to go back. I'm I like, do that too. I just don't read them. <laughs> that's smart. Because if I read them and I respond in my head, then I'll forget to... Re- like, you, I had a text message that I had written the response for, but actually send hadn't it. pressed send. Oh, I do that I all do the that time. I do that, too. And then you messaged me this morning, and I was like, oh, I can send that response. <laughs> yeah. Because I got distracted mid-sentence. But now it's too late, because yeah. <laughs> we're on to something else. Yeah. I figured it out. The context is gone. I think, too, you just have to have people in your life that r- understand that. Yeah. And it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm just like, you know, if you're going to get pissed about me not responding or taking a long time to respond or yes, responding at all, responding too quickly. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I'm just, I just, I don't care enough. I feel like my background in holistic nutrition helps me a lot, though. Yeah. Um, because a lot of it was also about, like, mindfulness mm-hmm. as well. And yeah. so I do practice, I try to practice yeah. some of that a little bit and just, like, being in tune with, like, stressors in life and like just knowing like when to take a break yeah that's cool that's so it's really big yes i'm getting there we're trying 
It's hard, though. Yeah. Like, it's so very hard. hard to find balance in life, I find. Mm-hmm. Um, and just, like, making time for everything. I was listening yeah. to a podcast the other day, and they were saying how, like, we always use the excuse that there's, like, no time. Yeah. In a day. Mm-hmm. And they were like, but really, like, you have X amount of hours in a whole week. Like, you shouldn't just be looking at your life in, like, a day-by-day basis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You should be basing it on a week. And I'm like, you're right. Like, you never really thought of that. Yeah. I don't even know if my brain can do that. <laughs> I know. That sounds daunting. Yeah. You know what's crazy is Beyonce has the same amount of hours in a day as us. Yeah. And I'm just but like, she has a team. Yeah, well, we're a team. Yeah, but, like, she has a team, like... I know, I'm just fucking with you. I'm like... <laughs> it's I always but. think about that, too. I'm like, they, we do. But then, if you, if I had a team... Yes. Like, oh, yeah. Like, like if I could 10 delegate or 11, so many things... <laughs> that you do it. If I could have, yes. Or although I'm very bad at delegating, but still. I am very bad at delegating, Also too. terrible at Also delegating. bad at asking for help. <laughs> also Same. bad at asking for help. <laughs> Same, literally. Until I'm, like, grunting and being yeah. like, somebody gotta They're help like, are me. you crying? And I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> I literally <laughs> Like, passive aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kay was like, I might work from home uh, tomorrow, like, on Sunday. And I was like, please do. I think that'll be good for you. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, like, do you need me to do the podcast for Mark and Charity today? And I was, like, sitting there looking at the message, and I'm like, no, I got this. <laughs> and then, like, 15 minutes later, I'm like, yeah, I'd really like that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> just I'm just like, I don't want to admit it, but it's like sometimes I'm just like, yeah, I need help. Yeah. I feel like it's a thing. Like, I just am so, I don't know. Even, like, with Apple Fest, for example, I should have asked someone to come mm-hmm. and help me. Like, and I don't know why I didn't. And yeah. I'm just like, like, it's just so hard. That's something that I have to work on. Mm-hmm. Like the, you're a millennial, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think Gen out. Z's kind of have it figured out. Like, they're yeah. like great at boundaries. Maybe because they watched us crash and fail. They're like, <laughs> I don't think we should do what they're doing. Yes. Gen Z's bug me in a lot of other ways, but they really set that boundary. They do. They have really clear mm-hmm. boundaries and yeah. like are very firm on like, no, I'm not doing that. Or no, I don't believe in that. So yeah. I, yeah, therefore like my I'm daughter, not. shockingly confident. Yeah, it's yes. like scary. Yeah, she's like, no, and she'd be like, that doesn't serve me. What? And I'm like, what? <laughs> they ha- they like no therapy speak already. It's so true. And they're I'm woke. Like, yeah, they're, they're so, so woke. woke. I'll go to therapy. I'm like, I said no to something, and she's like, I'm so proud of. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> it's so true. I also need that validation. <laughs> yeah, like, I know. Fuck. I always I always need the validation. Yeah. <laughs> Same here. It's like, okay, I said, like, I want someone to be like, okay, you did good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you're doing great. Like, I'm just clapping for it. Okay. Like, yeah. I'll like, just... I just need someone to be like, you're killing it. Yeah. And the thing that you did, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Well, you're doing amazing. Thank you're doing you. so Thank good. You. Like, watching you. And honestly, huge props to you for, like, taking the summer and not doing all the, yeah. like, stepping back and having time with your yes. kids. Cause that's it does so make important. me a little anxious sometimes, especially with, like, the retail shops. Where I'm like, okay, like, but I have to supply to them. Like, mm-hmm. and if I don't and I, like, put them out, then whatever. So did you still supply to retail? You just didn't do markets or did you stop? I still supplied to retail. Like, there would be t- odd times where I'd be like, hey, you know what? Like, I'm not taking any orders this week. Mm-hmm. And they would just order extra for the next, the, yeah. the week that I was gone. And it worked. Yeah. Like. Okay, but it's like, you're still doing twice the I know, I know. I'm just like. <laughs> I know. It's a, it's a battle out there. It man. is a battle out there. But you are doing great. Thank you. I know so are you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love this. So just <laughs> therapy. Thank you. <laughs> Which kind of leads to like what I'm going to talk about next. You kind of have like this community of really cool mm-hmm. like moms yes. <laughs> in the county. And it's like I tried to like organize something where everybody would come in at the same time. Mm-hmm. But then I realized I'm like, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get like five or six different people in like coordinated schedules is just like it's impossible. It so I'm impossible. just like I'm starting with you and then I'm going to slowly mm-hmm. chip away at all the cool moms. Yeah, and, I love it. And be like, hey. I feel like, like, so when I first moved here, it was kind of like a shell shock to me because all of my friends and family are still in the city Mm -hmm. um, and I had nobody here. Mm -hmm. So when I was pregnant with my oldest, I was just in a very like down state where I was like, I feel like I don't have like a support Mm -hmm. system out here. So I spent a lot of time in Toronto while I was pregnant. Um, But then... And, like, people would be like, well, once, you know, you start, like, working and, like, once Adelaide is in programs and stuff, you'll start meeting people. And, like, I just didn't find that mm-hmm. until I started The Cookie Mama. Oh. Um, 
And then I just met all the vendors that I know from, mm-hmm. like, all, doing all the markets and then just other, like, moms in the community, like like Fong from Saigon, yeah. Lindsay from Evergreen, yeah. like, Allie from Good Finds, mm-hmm. like, all just, of them. Like, the best people. Yes. And they're, they're all, all so nice. And we all kind of have, like, the same mentality of, like, we're mom bosses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think that's nice, too, that you're moms, but you also own businesses, so you can kind of yes. talk about that as well because if you have someone another mom moms are all great but if they don't have a business they don't understand that added stress of yes. like yeah. trying to balance it all it is so it's it's been very nice to like in a way like I'm so grateful for this business because of like obviously the su- success that I've had mm-hmm. but also just because of the community that I've been able to build and like I have people that come out to the markets and stuff who I've become mm-hmm. like close with as well and they come out to my markets every like every time I'm out there and it's just so nice to have that yeah Mm -hmm. that's so nice yeah I love that we've had you for an hour oh wow which has been lovely (laughs) but do you have any shout outs you want to give before we wrap it up like things coming up people anything really um where are you gonna find me next I will be doing the side hustle Christmas market on November 25th at venue 1906 yeah um, and then I have a few other markets that are not confirmed, but I will be participating in. Okay. So I'm hoping to be at the Sterling Market again, the Christmas one that they did, oh, nice. which was a lot of fun, um, and Wander the Resort. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I heard about this one. Yeah. That's cool. And hopefully I'm not sick. So And I'm, hopefully it's indoors. I, they do it in like an outdoor tent. Oh, that's cool. So yeah. it's like... Indoor, outdoor? Yes, indoor, Maybe outdoor. insulated? Yeah. Wander, listen. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, like, so sick for the Wander, the resort market last oh. year that I was going to cancel. Um, and my mother-in-law and um, her sister-in-law were like, we'll do it for you. Oh, that's They're such so nice. so cute. Yeah. So cute. That's if you ever great. needed a last-minute person to do a market... I am socially anxious, but I love cookies. Oh, yeah. Cookies. I, lo- I love a market. I do it. I may not stand at the booth the whole time, <laughs> yes. but I'll come. I like to take people's money. So Yeah. yeah. It's a good time. It yeah. is a good time. Um, <laughs> you have been just a joy. I'm so happy we finally got you on here. I'm so happy. Thank you yeah. for asking me to be here. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm shutting her down. Okay, okay. cool, cool. That was amazing. <laughs> Larissa, Cookie Mama. Love you. Love you. And thank you for the cookies. They're so good. I'm, I still have some. I brought some in my bag. I brought like a piece of oh. it because I was like, I'm going to have this after I have my lunch. Yeah, that's a good idea. I need a sugar pick me up. Mm-hmm. No, she. you were just so kind. And I love the natural progression of her yeah. business. And I love that it just started like her being like coming up with creative ideas and then actually like going for it. The best way mm-hmm. to start i don't want to say side hustle because it's not it's like her main i just think that's a good way to like start any sort of business because it's you're there's no pressure to make it work it's mm-hmm. just like it's one of those things that just kind of evolves as it goes yeah it's and like, i give her big props on finding balance like it takes right. as a solopreneur it's really hard to find balance i think and it's taken her time but she's putting her and her family first and still and like, she honors that yeah and I, and think I think that's, that's like that's so admirable yeah. so people out there remember to be kind to the solopreneurs and the local businesses and oh, because yeah. they don't have the same resources as these like giant corporations box stores. they're not just pumping out cookies no. No. And you're not going to find a cookie like this in the grocery store. No, and don't don't poo-poo the price. It's worth it. That's okay. That's Here's one thing. my thing. Yeah. This is a very unique... And this isn't just specifically cookies. This could be anything. If you are getting something that is made in small batches by a single person, yes, labor costs and all these things... Like it costs money and mm-hmm. I can guarantee you like it's worth it because it's so it's different you can't buy this anywhere else no and it's delicious exactly or it's beautiful or it's whatever it may be but I think creative people need to be paid appropriately agreed yeah um I don't really know about snaps this week because it's we're three it's weeks been out three weeks It'll be two weeks. From Actually, now. no, I want to snap Sam Foley. Yay! I was going to snap her in like the first one we did, but. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I don't want to like dive too much into why, but she has great ideas. And she wants to work with us. And kind she of. wants to 
do something with us and we're going to take her out for lunch maybe. Yeah. And we'll have a babe's boss lunch and discuss things. Yeah. Also, I uh, this has like been three weeks now, but I did go to the beauty collective and mm-hmm. get Botox in my face. And I finally bought sunscreen. So because Sam, Tina and Kelly all told me to buy sun- like sunscreen is like your number one skincare routine. And I finally bought sunscreen and I've been putting it on my face. So just doing hot girl shit. Hot girl But yeah, shit. I got Botox because of my migraines and it is great. Yeah. So And your skin looks great. Thank you. I can't. My 11s are calming down. I have mad 11s. Like, um, so just not being able to naturally be a furrowed brow is great. Yeah, you look a lot less pissed at the world. <laughs> just kidding. Don't worry. I'm still feeling it maybe. I don't know. I'll be coming back from vacation. <laughs> um, I got to end it because I got to go edit all of this now. Yeah, cool. I need um, to do real work. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Quote, friends. Unquote. <laughs> the Babies of Quinny podcast is recorded and produced at Starboard Communications, home of 95.5 Hits FM, Cool 100, and Inquinty.ca.